Okay, I'm back with an update to the flywheel bolt dilemma I discussed yesterday. As you can see, I've made some progress, so I got it resolved. So, to recap what happened yesterday, uh, the instructions Factory 5 uh, had for the Coyote, uh, Gen 3 Coyote engine said to torque the flywheel bolts to 80 foot-pounds. And when I did that, one of them broke off and a couple others felt like they were going to if I kept going, never did reach the 80 foot-pounds. And so I had to take them, take them all out and, and drill out and use an extractor to get the, uh, the one that broke off out. And this morning I called the Ford uh, Performance phone number uh, the Ford Performance phone number, if you don't know about it, they usually, you buy these performance parts, they stick this uh, document in there and there's the number. So I called him this morning and he told me that uh, the torque is 20 Newton meters plus 60 degrees. So that's uh, obviously less than 80. Who knows exactly what it is? I mean, 20 Newton meters is around 15 foot pounds or so. But I could tell you when you go to that 60 degrees, it, you do put a lot of torque. I mean, I haven't calibrated my, uh, my elbow lately, but I would say, you know, 60 pounds maybe. Um, so that solved the problem. Got the flywheel in, the clutch and uh, bell housing uh, pressure plate, obviously a throw up bearing and, and the transmission, which is the uh, Trimac TKX. Uh, by the way, I have this sitting on this welding table, but it is not, I don't have all the weight or even most of the weight on it. I just put enough weight on it to keep it from bouncing around. The, the table's rated at a thousand pounds, but that's evenly distributed. I, I would never wanna set all the weight of the engine on there, but it's nice not trying to work on it while it's dangling from the chain. So it works out really well. Um, okay, so I did run into a problem today and that was the starter bolts. Starter goes here starter bolts that were mentioned in the in the factory 5 uh, gen 3 coyote instructions are the ones that i purchased right here and i have those right here as you can see same ones uh, wf 500 310 s48 okay they're too long these are these are those bolts this is the starter as you can see um, there's not enough thread the, the, the threads on the bell housing start immediately so this is clearly too long i, di I did measure it uh it needs about a 40 millimeter bolt it's an it's an m8 1.25 by 40 would work fine this is a 54 millimeter so just a little too long so that's not going to work um, no big deal, I'm not too worried about it. You know, I think Factor 5 does a great job. And, uh, oh, by the way, this is the exact starter that they that they list too. So I have the, the, the starter, the bell housing, and the starter bolts that they list in their manual. So everything exactly as they list it, and it doesn't work. But you know, I, you know what happens is things change over time and instructions, when you're up, revising instructions, maybe, when you're making the Gen 3 Coyote instructions, you're not gonna start with a blank paper. You're gonna start with the Gen 2 instructions and, and modify those to uh, make or accommodate uh, whatever changes came along with the Gen 3. I imagine that's how it happened and that's how little things like that get missed. So no big deal, that's just part of it. I'm not in a hurry. If I was in a hurry, I'd buy a car, not build it. So, uh, but uh, that's a pretty standard bolt. So I can get that in an eight or 10 grade down at uh, Home Depot, I've already checked. So rather than order them and wait, I'll just go get them. By the way, the starter bolts, I was able to get down to Ford dealer. They actually had uh, nine of them in stock. So I was able to get the eight that I needed. So all set there. So coming along and uh, I'm glad to be past the, uh, the starter torque issue. I did report it to by email to factory five and uh you know hopefully they'll update the manual i'm i'm uh again not mad about it those things happen i just uh, hopefully they can update it so the next person doesn't suffer the same fate 
So that's it for today.